surface anatomy refers to the identification of specific anatomical landmarks on a model. In clinical practice, this means being able to find certain bones, bony prominences, muscles, tendons, or other structures in order to perform certain tests or treatments. For example, in order to diagnose a gluteal tendinopathy, one of the key tests is to palpate the greater trochanter to see if it's painful. If it's not painful, there's a very good chance we need to consider an alternative diagnosis. Therefore, not only do we need to be able to identify the greater trochanter on a skeleton, we also need to do so on a person with all the overlying tissues in the way. Other reasons we might need to utilize surface anatomy relate to clinical measurement. For example, we may need to find the head of humerus or subacromial space to measure shoulder range of movement with a goniometer. Equally, when we're providing treatment, we want to make sure that we are targeting the right tissues. And so knowing what ligaments, tendons or muscles are in certain areas is really important in this context. The obvious challenge of surface anatomy is the fact that we cannot see tissues or structures the way we can on models or in pictures. And so when we learn surface anatomy, it's important to get as much practice as possible on a real model. For guidance on how to identify some of the key landmarks that we need in physiotherapy or in a clinical context, check out our surface anatomy playlist in the link below and consider subscribing to our channel.